All right, in this video, we're going to talk briefly about libraries and parts and searching parts and finding the things you need and how to install the libraries. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to go to my libraries tab. <clears throat> I may not have mentioned this before, but you'll see that if I click on a tab, it comes out. If I click on my sheet or if the PCB is open, the tab goes away. It's possible to lock that in place. Right up here is a little push pin. If I click on the push pin, that tab will stay there. Even when I'm here moving things around and my schematic, the tab stays there. So that's an option. I, I tend to have it go away because I don't want it there when I'm not using it. But let's say I'm looking for a part. Let's see what we can find. Uh, I have opened already miscellaneous devices, miscellaneous connectors. Those are open by default. We added the ECE library schematic parts and PCB libraries here. Let's uh, see what happens if I need a part that doesn't appear in these uh, current libraries. I'm going to hit search. And then I'm going to search my libraries. And this search feature, it'll say the field is going to be the name, so the name of the part. I'm going to look for an LM741. Then the value, we'll put that in, LM741. And this says equals. Now, when it says equals, it's going to have to exactly equal that in order to find it. But I have other options. I'm going to tell it contains. So as long as a part number has this string in it, it'll find it. Now, I can search my available libraries. And let's see what it does. I tell it search. Here's my search results. Nothing. All right, let's search again. I'm going to tell it to search the libraries on path. And the path is here. And the path I have it pointed to is where I have my library stored. Let's come up here. This is where I store the Altium library right here. And now I can tell it search. So I pointed to where that big two gig download is. And I told, I'm going to tell it search here. And you'll see it searching right now. It's going to take a little while because that's a huge folder, right? But Eventually, we'll pop up some LM741s, and we'll have some options to choose from. And remember, you can do this with any of the uh, parts that you want to look for. Also, I could have gone into a single vendor inside that folder, right? I had some from Actel, from Microchip, from Atmel, National Semiconductor. I could pick any of those and have it search just inside their libraries, which would be faster. So if I had an idea that this company made that part... I could point to their their uh, library folder and search just there. All right, so we're still searching. I might pause here for a minute so we won't waste time in the video. Okay, the filters are done looking through all the folders. We can see that there are several 741s found in there. Here's National Semiconductor. Looks like that's where they found it, mostly in National Semiconductor. And if I look at these, I can notice, let me just move this up a little bit. All right, so I'll look at some of these and we'll see the actual footprint of the part. There's an eight pin dip. There's a lot of options here. There's a the little can again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 741 on my board here. There's one that's surface mount. I'm going to put this part on my board. So I'm going to tell it place. Now, what does it ask me when I tell it to place? It asks me the library is not available. Do you want to install it? So I searched for it and found it, but I hadn't installed it yet. So I'm going to tell it, yes, I want you to install it. Now, here's my part. And I'll see that this is a U1 and this is nothing. So I'm going to double click this guy, get my properties. I'm going to tell it, make him U1. Oh, I didn't hit enter. Sorry about that. Backspace one. 
Okay, I got the red squiggly line warning me. I have two U1s. So let's take this U1. Whoops. I'm going to take this U1, highlight it, delete it. I'm going to take this U1 and drag him down in here so he's all connected. There we go. So now I have a U1 LM741. Now I have the right part in there. So this is just a quick explanation of how to look on your uh, libraries. Use your search functions and you can find everything you need. Thank you very much.